It's the 20th, the second day, and we are, I assume everybody's as sore as I am today, after playing that rock and roll show yesterday. <laughs> Going to the Fireside to play the first of two shows, actually three shows in Chicago. When we decided to do the shows in Milwaukee and in Chicago and in Champaign, one of the shows we wanted to do was at the Fireside. Chris and I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago and um, had this great community uh, going on, but you know, yeah. at, at the beginning there was no place to play in Chicago. No, and then the Fireside came around, and that's and just where everybody started going. Every, like, yes. embraced all the bands. The Fireside was our home. It was. That was where we were just, we, we played so many shows there, we were always welcome to get on shows. And that's where everybody would come, that's where we, like, I feel like that's where we made all of our fans and quote-unquote fans and friends. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have a, a, like a book back there that you can sign if you want. That would be great if you could. Thanks a lot. Thanks to Nurnai. Thanks so much for coming out and thanks to everyone who drove a long way. And hope to see you tomorrow at the Metro. Thanks. The third show is at the Metro. The main reason we did the, the a show at the Metro as one of Braid's last shows is because it was one of the it was the only it's show a big place. It was the only show that people could buy advance tickets for. Yeah. Because the Rave couldn't get advance tickets for the first show. Fireside wouldn't do advance tickets. Mabel's wouldn't do advance tickets. Metro was the only show if someone that was a fan of our band it was From traveling a long distance. You could do Ticketmaster. Right. Could... People could get the get a ticket in advance. So we didn't really realize that it was going to be the event that it was going to be. So we just kind of like booked it in the event that like if somebody wanted to come from a show, to come to the come to one of the shows from out of from state, somewhere. that they're guaranteed to be able to get in because they can buy a ticket yeah. in advance. And we love the Metro in yeah. that. Everybody that works there is rad. It's yeah, like one it's of the greatest very, places it's ever. It's very, very comfortable for all the bands and everyone yeah. that comes to see the show is comfortable. If, you know, like your family wants to come, there's a nice spot up in the balcony for them to sit and the sound on stage is really great. It's a great place to see shows, it's a great place to play and we not wanted to, to make sure to, to play there. Not to mention all the bands that like I had seen at Metro. Yeah, you had exactly. seen at Metro. Yeah, yeah, we had grown exactly. up going to Metro to see bands that we were super into. And know? to be able to like, play there and, and sell it out was just was like, one of those like wow. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. 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 We're at the Metro, Chicago. It's pretty crazy today. There's a Cubs game going on. So I feel real sorry for these people that are coming. They're not going to be able to park. And if 1,100 people do show up, I just feel bad for them. That's dedication. I'd be afraid to park and they'd kick my ass. Okay, okay. All right, we're parking. Mine too, my, my calves are killing me. Um, not at all, I feel like I'm crashing this up. This is the story of my life. Chuck. In the van. This is only about the 800th time I've done this if you count practice. and I was really pissed off, but I was trying to refrain from telling them how mad I was because I didn't want to like put pressure on them because I knew every band in the world would be asking to play these shows, but I'm different and I'm more special and, and I knew that Sarge belonged on one of these shows. So I just waited for a while. Oh look, there's another person coming in. And uh, they asked, and now we're on two of the shows and I'm being funny about it, but actually it's um, amazingly important to me. I don't know if, if I would be in a band if it wasn't for those guys. Um, I certainly wouldn't function in the band the way I do. They taught me how to work hard and to book tours and helped our band out so much. I don't know where we would be if we would still be a band if it wasn't for them. Wow. 
Well, my name is Dan, and I'm from Milwaukee, and I've uh, known Braid for quite a long time. And Damon and Todd pulled me aside one time and asked me if uh, they wanted me to go with them on tour and saw some stuff. The music's great and it's powerful and it's moving to me and it gives me goosebumps every time I hear like my favorite songs and stuff. And well, Chandelier Swing, you know, because I got a little part in there, a little CV part.